Hey, Tubies! <laughs> this is Bob Hickman. I tell you, I am just so excited to be here with you guys. Uh, if you didn't see my video earlier, you want to check that out. The video right before this one, it announces my appearance tonight on ParanormalKing.com. ParanormalKing.com is a paranormal radio network. And I'll be appearing there at 8 p.m. tonight, Eastern U.S. time, 5 p.m. Pacific U.S. time, on a show called Paraversal Universe. And I'm going to be being interviewed by Kevin Selsey and Jen excuse me, Kevin Malick and Jennifer Selsey. I can't get the names right. Kevin Malick and Jennifer Selsey. They're going to interview Psychic Bob tonight. So if you want to, you know, tune in and hear me live, we will be, I believe, taking calls from the listeners. I'll be uh, answering questions about the paranormal and doing readings uh, for call-in listeners. So uh, make sure to check it out. I hope you'll you'll come over and see me tonight. Thank you so much for your support. Well, today we've got a mystical subject to talk about. We're going to talk about a mystical crystal. It's called the Andara crystal. And uh, the Andara crystals are very fascinating. Uh, they're very popular in the New Age community. Um, they are like a glass-like crystal. In fact, let me show you one of them here. This is one of my new Andara crystals. It's hard to see here on the video, but it's a kind of an aqua blue. It's like an aquamarine color. And... Um, this is believed to be an ancient Lemurian crystal. Um, these crystals are interesting because they come from just a few regions in the United States. Uh, they're found in Hawaii, and they're also found in Northern California. And you may recall from our Lemuria video that those areas were part of ancient Lemuria. And these crystals are fascinating. They're very much like obsidian. Obsidian is a volcanic glass, uh, which is actually not a crystal. It's called a crystal, but it's actually a glass. And these are also likewise a glass-like substance. They're absolutely beautiful. But it's believed that the ancient Lemurians had temples built out of this crystal, solid crystal temples. And it was believed that inside them, they even had um, crystals like this that they would keep, and they would use them for healing, they'd use them for psychic transmission, pretty amazing stuff. And Andara crystals are unique because, as I said, they're very glass-like, and they come in beautiful iridescent colors. This one is an aqua blue color. Um, I also have here, a beautiful kind of green one. This was a gift to me as well um, from a lady that runs a shop in Andara Crystals. And I'll put links below for that. But isn't that beautiful? Very lovely green. So we've got a blue one here and a green one. Aren't those lovely? And these are amazing stones because you can use them to tap in to Lemurian energy. Many of you have been saying, Psychic Bob, how do I attune to my past lives? How do I tune to my higher self? How do I tune to channel? Well, if you've been wanting to work on all of those or any of those, you might want to consider investing in an Andara crystal. Now, I have to be honest, they're not cheap, uh, but I think they're worth the money because one, they're just absolutely beautiful. They're very rare and it's literally a piece of Lemuria with you. Um, what you can do is you just hold them in your hands while you meditate and you let the crystal energy infuse you and it will help stimulate an electrical current in your body that stimulates your chakras and opens your third eye and your crown. Um, you know, it's hard to explain it. It's literally one of these things. It's like you have to work with it to know it. So I would encourage you, you, know, you might want to consider an investment in an Andara crystal. I have some other ones here too. Uh, I don't have a lot because I said they are very expensive, so I only have a few. But uh, here's one that I had that I bought that's a pendant. Isn't that beautiful? It's a beautiful kind of a mint green. Isn't that lovely? It just really shimmers. 
Let's see if you can see that. Isn't that beautiful? And it's set in a silver wire to hold it. So that's my one of my Andara crystals. This is one of my favorite ones. I love it because of the beautiful clarity and um, you know the color is just this wonderful. So I'm going to put this one on. And when you wear an Andara, it's suggested that you wear it, kind of get a chain that's kind of close to the middle of your chest, the heart area, because that is where the heart chakra is. And Andara crystals are believed to stimulate and influence the heart chakra, you see? I also have another one here that's a beautiful giant Andara. Look at this one. Is that beautiful? Look at that. This one's a clear one. It's got a little bit of, it looks like amethyst in it, some purple. Um, very glass-like. These are very interesting because they're considered to be monoatomic in structure, which means that they're very pure. They have trace elements that are like pure platinum, pure gold, pure iridium. Um, and when they are broken down, they have these trace elements in basically, you know, it's like one quality, one quantity that is consistent throughout the crystal. I think they're absolutely amazing. I'm a, I'm a believer in the Andara crystals, you know. Um, what we're going to be doing here in the coming weeks is I'm going to set up, I'm going to teach you guys how to work with crystals. Um, there are a lot of ways to work with crystals. You can wear them or you can set up crystal grids. And we're gonna have a whole video on crystal grids. I'm getting some of the supplies still for that, but when I have that, we're gonna do that as well. I've been reading about it and learning about it. Amazing, amazing stuff. But the Andara crystals, you know, as I said, these are wonderful. Uh, if you've been feeling like you have a past life connection uh, to Lemuria or to Atlantis, actually, I've heard that the, the Andaran crystals were also part of Atlantis. Um, I haven't got a lot of evidence on that. It's mostly Lemuria is where I've heard them from, but I have been told they were used also in Atlantis. So if you have a connection to Atlantis or Lemuria or think that you might or are curious, you might want to get an Andara crystal. I'll tell you the thing is when you get an Andara crystal and you hold it, for me at least, what happened is I can feel a vibration. And I don't think you have to be a psychic. I think anybody who's wanting to be attuned will pick up the vibration. And I feel like when I look into my Andara crystal, it's like I'm looking into ancient history. It's really helped me to have visions of Lemuria, visions of Atlantis, and to tune into the cosmic energy of the past that surrounds us. You know, everything that has occurred on Earth is stored in the Akashic Records. And the Akashic Records are kind of an energy library where everything that has ever existed um, is recorded. And it is believed that the Andara crystals also serve as access kind of keys to the Akashic Records. So when you look into them, when you hold them during meditation, when you use them during past life recall, they accelerate your reception of information from the Akasha. So, you know, that also makes it very, very fascinating. And, you know, it's like I say, seeing is believing. Uh, I can sit here and tell you about Andaras, but until you actually pick up one, you feel its energy, you get to work with it, you know, you won't really know. But, you know, Andaras are definitely something I think are worth the time to, to investigate. It's definitely worth the time to look into. And, you know, I say, you know, a crystal is like a friend. It takes time to develop a relationship. So if you get your Andara crystal on the first day you have and say, well, I don't know, I'm not getting anything, give it time. Because, you know, crystals are like people. They warm to people and people warm to them. And I can tell you, as I've had these two Andaras, you know, for the last few months here, I've really come to know them and know their energy. And so I would encourage you to, you know, take the time, do some research on the Andaras. Now, there are there are a few different trains of thought on the Andaras. Some people have said, oh, they're nothing but glass. It's all a fraud. Um, some people say, yes, it's glass, but it comes from an area that is highly charged. And some people say, oh, these are actual crystals from Lemuria. So there are like a few different trains of thought. 
But I'll tell you, as a psychic, when I touch the Andaras, you know, I do pick up energy around them that is, I would call, almost supernatural. I do believe it has a connection to Lemuria. You know, somebody said, well, I read on a forum people were arguing about Andaras, and so said, well, they're just a bunch of glass, they're all fake. And somebody else said, well, even if they are a bunch of glass, you know, what is glass but reconstituted sand, which is, well, at one time was a rock. So they do still carry, even if they're glass, crystalline energies, and they do carry a unique vibration. And you know, color is its own vibration. And as you know by the colors here, you can also channel in energy rays through colors. So whether they're literally from the temples of, of Lemuria or Atlantis, you know, it's speculative. I believe they are. You may not believe, and that's okay. But I think we can agree that they can be tools. You know, in Wicca, we talk about tools, for example, uh, like the wand, okay? Now, you saw my wand video the other day. That was a beautiful wand that Lord Tony made me. But, you know, you can literally walk into the woods and find a common branch and it can work magic. And people say, well, it's just a stick. What's that do? But you understand when you take any item and you consecrate it to spiritual service, it takes on a power, it receives that intent, and it becomes a vessel to channel energy. That's why magic tools work. They literally are created to be tools to receive sacred energy. So likewise, with the Andara crystals, you know, even if you don't believe that they're actually from Lemuria and, you know, people are saying they're not, if you choose to set the intent to receive connection to Lemuria, they can work as a tool of facilitator. So, you know, whether they're real or whether they're not, to me, it doesn't matter because they've become real because I've chosen to use them to receive the knowledge. And guess what? They work. Just like my wand, it, it works. You see, so just something for you guys to think about. Anyways, um, tell me in the box below, have you ever heard of Andara crystals? Have you ever worked with them? I'd love to hear your experiences. And um, anyways, we're going to do more on Lemuria and on Andaras in, in the coming weeks. We're going to talk about crystalline grids. And we're going to talk about working with the flower of life, Metatron's cube. We got a lot coming here. So we're going to be following along on our Ascension series. And I don't want you guys to miss it. By the way, um, if you haven't done so, you might want to pick up this book, Ascension Magic. It's by Christopher Penzak. Uh, and it says, Ritual, Myth, and Healing for the New Eon. Uh, wonderful book. We're going to be doing a lot of work out of this book. Um, they talk a lot about crystals in here, so you can learn more about working with crystals. Um, and, you know, as I said, the Andara is certainly a powerful crystal. It's the only one. We're going to cover other crystals as well. But I hope you'll, you'll keep it here. Keep following. Keep learning. And uh, I send you my blessings. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Listen, make sure to come out tonight and see me on ParanormalKing.com at 8 p.m. Eastern U.S. time, 5 p.m. Pacific time. For my viewers in the UK, it'll actually be about 1 a.m. your time, 1 a.m. Saturday morning, uh, right after midnight. But if you're up late, you can tune it in in the UK as well and listen to Psyche Bob. I'd love to, to hear from you. Maybe some of you from the UK will call in. Well, guys, listen, keep it here at Spirit Channel. I look forward to hearing from you tonight on the radio show. Be back here tomorrow on Saturday because we got Saturday night seance coming. You don't want to miss it. Thanks for being here. We'll see you soon. Blessings. Good night. Oh, forgot. Like this favorite, share it with your friends, and subscribe. Come be part of our channel if you haven't subscribed. It's free, and we'd love you to be with us. Blessings to all of you.